Look, um, let's talk about Facebook targeting, right? Now, there are a few things I'm going to be explaining to you guys in terms of Facebook targeting. Um, like you guys see, this is a bonus, so we are not diving deep into what Facebook is about. Um, you should know how to target on Facebook. Um, you should know how to at least create a campaign on Facebook. So that's not what this video is about. Okay. It's about really honing to know who your target audience is so that you get it right. Uh, we've talked about the whole more sales system and we talk, talked about one of the key elements as the right message. Now, it will be futile if you have the right message created, but then you're having the right message in front of the wrong audience or the wrong people. It's like you're hitting a rock, right? Uh, you just uh, be wasting your time, your ad spend, and all of that. So it's important that you get clear with who your target customer is. Okay. Now I I want you guys to understand that there are two ways to tag to tag. Okay, to tag. I mean tag. All right, to tag your target customers all right and you can do this via the demographic right and psychographic all right so when i say demographic i'm talking about um i'm talking about their age their gender uh their nationality your race the black the white right all of those things they are demographics right so more like um physical things right um psychographic is you're talking about the behavior of those people right their lifestyle uh the things they like okay that is psychographic okay so th these are two ways you can target your ideal customer and this is why it's important for you to know who you are targeting you can't just go on facebook and just open it all up yeah the facebook algorithm is very smart and of course the facebook algorithm can go ahead to find you um the right people but if you just open it up to read it's going to take some time so when you go on there and start things like zero targeting well you are going to get results for a short time and then um, you start finding things like you you start experiencing low sales because then Facebook is trying to try all the buckets right to find your ideal customer so when you start your targeting zero targeting shouldn't be the first thing you, you you start out with zero targeting should be something you scale with when the facebook algorithm has really understood who your customer is or who your customers are right it becomes easy for the facebook algorithm to go out there and find um who that person is okay so when you're starting st when you start your targeting you should give them at least demographics psychographics all right now, um, the reason why I am saying all of this is because it's weird um, to know that um, f the way Facebook allocates certain traits, certain interests to people is crazy. Um, you could just comment on a post that is so unrelated to you and Facebook tags you as um, someone who is interested in such a topic, right? So for instance, I'm going to show you guys. Uh, for you to know the interest, you know, like I mean, um, the interest of which Facebook actually shows ads to you. Just go to your settings. So if you go over to settings and privacy, go to settings, and um, you should be able to see ads. So you go to ads and go to ad settings. Right here, you're going to see um, categories that Facebook is using to reach you okay interest category so you see all of these right if i see see all um you're gonna see things like diabetic diet so for instance i'm gonna see 
if someone is um you know advertising something in his own diabetic or diabetes i'm going to be shown this that's that ad but i'm not diabetic right i don't even have anyone who is diabetic <laughs> okay so just because i probably have clicked on an ad right or clicked on something that is related to diabetes i've been tagged with this that i'm interested in diabetes of course this might uh be to me because i'm um um i'm a marketer right so every now and then i'm looking at different ads see what people are doing and all that so i get um <laughs> different ads on my news feed okay um so when you when you continue to look at these you go on mortgage loans right uh, so this is more like people who, who are in real estate right um rheumatoid arthritis i am like i'm not attractive right so like you are going to see some kind of things that are very irrelevant um to the things that i like <laughs> okay um this is why um you have to really hone into who your target audience is okay that's category and of course you have audience based um, advertising this is just um, basically um you know when you create a custom audience and all of that and one of the thing is this is why this is why i tell people that um uh, top of the funnel you should you shouldn't be sending people um outside of facebook because why is not most most times facebook shows your shows ads that are irrelevant to people who are outside of facebook facebook really have um that good data to work with right on facebook so if you're starting from the if you're having your ads top of the funnel you should have your ads on their platforms like the facebook news feed or instagram news feed then if you're doing your retargeting if you're retargeting you cannot start having um automatic placement okay you can do automatic automatic placement okay because you you will find out that when you even do automatic placement at the top of the folder you see that you still have better results from the news feed uh and that's when i mean news feed i'm talking about facebook news feed you know, or instagram news feed so why not just right top of the funnel target um facebook news feed and instagram news feed and then when we're doing your retargeting you can now go with automatic placement try every other form of you know ad carousel and video images and like you can go crazy um with your retargeting campaigns okay but top of the funnel keep it simple um all these things are not really complicated okay keep it simple use a video use an image if you can if you use a video if you can do one it's quite very easy to you know make videos very very easy all right okay so you you, you can see um how facebook really tags people when it comes to interest it could be um one of your friends is celebrating um maybe the person just got married right and you made a comment made a comment on their on their photo talking about marriage like you know you'll be tagged with that that interest are interested in marriage so so by the time that someone is trying to put an ad an ad out there um, related to that uh, specific interest or category you will be shown an ad and the thing is when you start um, having your ads shown to people who are not really interested in what you have to sell what that what happens is you spend more all right you spend more um trying to reach people who should get your product okay so your advertising cost continues to shoot up so it, it's important that you really dive really deep um into who your id customer is know their psychographic like what do they respond to what's your lifestyle like right um are they people who love luxury things um do they travel a lot right what kind of magazines are they reading right you want to be able to narrow down to your specific audience okay um 